Hi folks, this is a module in the uh, AI First Engineering. Here now we're looking on AI in banking, or AI first in banking. And uh, we will, of course, this is all in the context of using deep learning to implement AI. This is divided into the modules. The first module discusses the, what's happening to legacy banks. Uh, sort of interesting. They may be sort of not doing quite so well as they used to, but um, actually they're taking the newer banks and buying them up. So they actually have a reasonable plan to, to be positioned for the future. Hi, folks. Here is a little summary of the types of uh, AI that one might see in banking. Uh, here we have uh, natural language processing, chatbots, and things like that. Image analysis, interpreting your check or complex uh, mortgage documents which have been buried in underground for a hundred years. Uh, robotic process automation, whether it be by robots or just automating some workflow. I do not personally know the difference between predictive analysis and machine learning. They're actually both those two are the top two. I and mean, whether they're different or the same, it means that this whole area of using um, sophisticated analysis to run through all these all these huge numbers of numbers they have and mine out nuggets um, from which stock to buy to some harbinger of somebody about to default or something like that. So we will go into more details in the following slides. Thank you. All right, so here is just a few um, news quotes um, here from January the 30th of this year. And uh, here's Lloyd's close, announcing closing. And um, which, of course, there's already, already been quite a few bank closings. And um, it said actually the 3,300 branches were closed in the last uh, four years in, in the United Kingdom and uh, lots of ATMs. Presumably because people don't use cash as much, and um, the, one, the ATMs that remain uh, are getting more expensive because they no longer can presumably they no longer have enough free things they can get from persuading people to use them. Um, so this is hardly surprising. This is the change in from a physical bank into an to a purely digital electronic bank. And nowadays, there aren't so many things you need to go to banks for. Maybe loans, changing currencies, but uh, and depositing checks. But you don't get so many checks, most uh, electronic transfers. <coughs> and so there's not, not so many reasons for a physical bank. There's some, but not so many as there used to be. Here's another story from December last year about an Italian bank, the largest, which is cutting jobs and branches. And of course, they need to replace it with a digital service. And um, they have this well-known usual problem of training their staff uh, to accomplish this. Here is another set of statistics. Here's the branches of Bank of America over the last 10 years. Yeah, they're not going down dramatically, but um, it's certainly, uh, whatever it is, it's about a 20% effect. Pretty uniform, No, not, nothing special recently. Here is a little larger effect in the United Kingdom over the last five years. Um, a little over four, actually four and a half years. Then the Royal Bank of Scotland has closed 74%. and. Um, Lloyd's has only, only closed 31%. We had a story about them earlier. So there are a lot of, there seem to be rather more closing in the United Kingdom. Here is um, the sort of story of Citibank, a major US bank. And there are three sort of related things. The amount of contact with the people at the bank that is declining 6% over um, Two years here is the amount of use of electronic statements growing by 
by uh, 7%. And here is the online banking growth, which is uh, uh, a somewhat, somewhat larger amount. And that's for both mobile and laptop, I mean desktop for general digital customers. Uh, that was from January of this year. Now here is a sort of general statement that uh, AI will cut the bank size of bank stuff. Notice they use AI pretty generally here. Actually, I would call some of these things they call AI are just straightforward IT, just getting the computer to do uh, to do things that people otherwise do. And um, so, according to the, this uh, news report, Deutsche Bank's, which is the largest German European bank. Um, it cut 18,000 jobs, and then there's meant to be 200,000 going down over the next decade. Um, and you see, as I say, it's not really AI, this is manual work. Um, but uh, it's still all part of the digitization of the, of the, of the industry. In fact, all industries. Here is a sort of Goldman Sachs has a very good reputation. It's a pretty major. Not a consumer bank, but a business bank or a rich people bank. And um, it's done quite badly. And the purpose of this story, which comes from The Economist, is that um, it's due to the fact that they didn't didn't have a good good strategy on, on the uh, AI and uh, digitization. And um, or what they call more generally technology. And it has done much worse than uh, some of the standard US banks, although European banks have done even worse. At least uh, Goldman Sachs was profitable and uh, increased uh, before the current crisis. Um, whereas uh, Deutsche Bank actually made a loss, which is the, I think the largest uh, European bank. Okay, folks, uh, here is a. Uh, it's sort of related story about uh, we've had several stories about jobs loss when it tries to quantify it over the next 10 years. And it says that the standard banks are meant to reduce the headcount by 9%. Unfortunately, this is a, a third of a million uh, people. And then the FinTech, which is this uh, uh, highly uh, digital AI oriented component of small startups, it grows by more, 19%. Unfortunately, the fintechs are only 5% of the legacy banks, and so this is only an increase of 37,000 jobs, which is 10% of the loss. Notice that the banks have this ingenious strategy of financing the fintechs. They get make loans to fintechs, and then they see which fintechs win, and then they just buy them up. And then they have a bank, which is fintech enabled. Okay. Okay, so here are the real numbers. 2022, there's actually an increase predicted for incumbents and an even bigger increase for fintech. The fintech increase grows up to 2025, 2030, and this increase here which may not happen if we have the uh, due to the virus, it actually turns into a decrease by 2030. Uh, so this, uh, try, this gives you a solid picture of this uh, general feature that uh, technology and AI and big data will le lead to an enhanced uh, number of a certain type of job and a decrease in another type of job. Okay, that's the end of this module, thank you.